uh, we're going to start with the basics today. Um, a simple shape, or relatively simple shape. In this case, it's an apple. That's our object. Um, I'm using uh, just regular cartridge paper and a two coloured pencils, a red and a blue, and a pencil sharpener. I'm not going to worry about a rubber um, pencil sharpener because I like to keep my um, pencil sharp. Uh, the reason being when I'm sketching, because that's what we're going to do initially, um, I want to have the minimum contact with the paper and the sharper it is, the minimum contact it is. And also I can I can keep my movement quite light. Okay, so my impact on the paper is going to be minimal whilst I'm just figuring out, finding my shape. Okay, and once I've done that, I'll use a bolder colour to define the shape. Right, so when we start drawing anything, we have to spend some time looking. So I'm just going to look at my object for a moment and just take in shape. You can sort of like mirror the shape. It's quite good to do that. And you take that back to the paper. And it's good, you know, not to be shy about moving. So if we stay nice and fluid and we start to kind of like walk around the shape before we touch the paper. This helps us also just place the object on the paper where we want to put it. In this case I want to put it here or about here so you can actually see what I'm drawing. Okay so here. Okay and now I'm going to start making contact with the paper and because my pencil is nice and sharp it's not making thick heavy marks. Okay so I'm mimicking the shape it's a representation. And then I want to get into the central area to find the core. So I'm going to map it out by keeping contact with the paper. So I'm feeling as well as looking. I'm travelling in to that central area and I'm then I'm going to actually use what the apple is giving me to then define and build the three dimensional form. And in doing that, I'm going to spiral in and find that central area. I completely forgot what that's called there, but oh, never mind. So this is about looking. So I know that the stalk there, it's called a stalk, is coming out of the centre there. And I know it's higher than the apple. My brain knows it is. But if I just spend time looking, when I look, it's actually not higher than the apple from the, my viewpoint and that's the thing whenever you're drawing something your viewpoint is always different from the person next to you they will always see something slightly different okay so now I'm feeling a bit more bold I've kind of got to know my shape a little bit more and my lines are a bit stronger <clears throat> so I'm just going to define the shape so you can see it a little bit more clearly I'm still keeping my drawing hand quite fluid. It's really good before you start drawing just to sort of like stretch out, give those arms a good stretch and just loosen them up. So we don't just draw from with our hand, we draw with our whole body. Okay, and we can put some of those contour lines in and think about the light so I can see there's a loose shadow and actually putting the shadow in just helps ground your object I'm just going to stroke directional lines in with about brush strokes well you can do that with pencil strokes too I use colored pencils because I think they're quite jolly and I think when you're starting drawing it's nice to um, use something that's light and colorful that isn't too serious I think graphite's beautiful but when you start it can feel quite daunting so just by 
looking, keep looking backwards and forwards between your drawing and the object. You can sort of like put in lines that don't actually exist just to help reinforce the shape. But when it comes to drawing, you're the cartographer, you're the one that's deciding the shapes because you're the one that's actually feeling and traveling the shapes. So you can slightly change direction if needs be. Okay, that's where we're going to start and where we're going to finish. <laughs>